Hey Aries, so I'm going to do a reading. We're going to see what comes out for you guys at this time, okay? Keep in mind while you're listening to the message that this is general, so if you're hearing certain messages that don't apply or resonate to your situation, don't force it. Listen to your intuition, okay? Thank you guys for your love and your support on the channel. I really do appreciate it. So, mending. This could be like an unexpected um, fix to a problem. Okay, this could be a problem a problem between you and a friend or family member. Okay, um, <clears throat> this could have been like a long time, long time problem. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying it like that, but it kind of feels like you and this person haven't spoken in a minute. Okay, like you guys have had beef <laughs> possibly for years. Okay, like you guys just don't mess with each other. But... There may be some type of pleasant surprise or unexpected fix to the problem that you have. Spirit, tell me more about this message. Tell me about this mending. Tell me about the mending. What's going on here? Okay. It says here and now. <clears throat> so... Yeah, let, let's not worry about the past. Let's not, you know, try to figure out the future. Let's focus on this opportunity or this moment now. Okay, so I don't know. Some of you could be doing this for the kids. I'm seeing that here. Uh, but I don't know. Let's see. Uh, butterfly came out. It says metamorphosis. Okay, so there's definitely a positive change in this situation. Um... Again, I'm picking up on this energy where you you don't see this coming or this is just, you never pictured things being like this. You never pictured talking to this person again or fixing the issue here, okay? It kind of feels like it's, it's time, okay? Power lines came out, which is energy, okay? Definitely some new energy coming between you two. Let's see one more here. Let's do one more for the collective. And then we have Lotus Flower Enlightenment. Okay. So it kind of feels like somebody's coming back this time around more evolved. Okay. Yeah. Key opportunity. There's definitely an opportunity for something new to start or be reborn in this connection and for some of you you may not even want to further this relationship or this you know connection with this person you may like have a conversation and then leave the person where they're at or just kind of move on all right but i am picking up on this energy where you and this person are like healing this relationship okay and again like spirit is saying it's time to like let the past Go with the past state in the past. Focus on what's happening at this time. Okay, so Spirit, tell me a little bit more about this connection. What do you need the collective to know at this time about the connection? Let's see what this what this is or who this is. Who is this? Let's ask that. Who is this person? Tell me about this person, Spirit. That's coming towards the collective. Who is this person? Okay, okay, so Five of Pentacles is here. I don't know, let's see. Five of Pentacles, all right, so there is some type of, there could be a sickness, there There could be, you know, money issue here. Hopefully that's not the reason this person is coming back towards you. Let's see, tell me about the Five of Pentacles. They may have lost their job. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, we have the Ace of Swords here. Okay. Clarity, truth. This is a message. Tell me about this this person, spirit. Six of Wands here. Four of Cups. I feel like some of you are dealing with a person, or this person it may have put on a front, a show. Okay, like pretended that they were okay without you. Pretended, you know, life was great. So this person may be letting you in on what happened in the past, okay? I kind of feel like collective, this is a, this is your energy for cups. You don't really see this message or 
you don't expect this person to reach out to you and let you know whatever they're letting you know. You may, you know, just kind of be doing your own thing and this person feels compelled is what I'm hearing to let you know like what they've been going through without you. I do feel like they miss you. Okay. This could be like a childhood friend, family member, um, an ex. Look at these butterflies here. Oh, okay. So I feel like Spirit wants you to pay attention to um, the synchronicities. There's going to be a lot that is going to make sense when this person reaches out to you, okay? Alright, Spirit, tell me more about this person. What does this person want from the collective? What are they looking for? I see mending here. So obviously they, they would want to fix things between you two, but let's just... Let's see, let's ask it. Spirit, what does this person want from the collective? What does this person want? What do they want? Yeah, they want to make it right. But yeah, this is the card I was thinking of, Ten of Cups. We have the four here and the six. They definitely want to mend this relationship. Like, you are, you're somebody that um, they find a lot of peace with, a lot of joy, a lot of harmony, happiness. Like those other people or those other situations that this person was involved in, they did not fulfill them. They didn't, they didn't, it didn't fulfill them the way your connection did. Okay, I hope that makes sense. All right, um, there's just something about you two being together, you two being friends, you two being in a relationship or whatever that this person. Like, they can't just let this go, is what I'm picking up on. Like, they don't want to just walk away from this, okay? Um, yeah, they, they find you very valuable to them. Like, you add a lot of value to their life emotionally, on, a, on an emotional level, okay? All right, Spirit, tell me more about what do you need the collective to see about this person? Okay, so the Queen of Wands is coming out reversed. Hmm. I don't know if you lost interest. Okay, I don't know if this is someone that's no longer interesting. Spirit, how does the collective feel about this person? Let's ask that real quick. This the, the Ace of Wands came out, kind of came out sideways, but Ace of Wands here. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. How does the collective feel about this person? You may feel like this person is a player or they are you know dealing with more than one person let's see they may get a lot of attention tell me more spirit how do you how does the collective how's does, how does the collective feel about this person how does the collective feel about this person let's see tell me more how do, thank you mm. I see you, you know, holding off on this person, kind of just, you know, making sure you feel led to talk to them. Okay, I don't feel like you're opening up at, like, it's very, the energy kind of feels kind of sparse. Like, you, uh, if you guys are texting, I, I guess I can, you know, talk about that. Like, if you're texting, this person is not getting much from you like it's hard to read you it's literally hard to read it you may be open but mm, yeah and I'm sore to at the bottom of the deck you're holding your emotions back from this person I do feel like there's love here okay I see the king of cups the nine of swords but you're definitely holding back four of pentacles all at the bottom of the deck all right, so it's like this person is not going to get another opportunity to, like, hurt you, okay, or make you stressed or, you know, cause issues in your life. You're not trying to revisit or relive some experience that you had with this person in the past, okay? That's what I'm pulling. So I kind of feel like when it comes to you talking to this person or dealing with this person, whoever it is, like, it's very, like, limited, very limited okay and I feel like that you're doing this because you're trying to figure out what they're about at this time there is still love here so 
you know, I do see that, but this person is not going to get another opportunity to hurt you, okay? You have changed as well, okay? Let's see what this person is saying. What is this person saying to the collective? What are they telling the collective? Let's see what this conversation looks like. What is this person saying to the collective spirit? Mm. Nine of Swords came out reversed, okay? They want to... They want to ease your mind, okay? Because I kind of feel like this person knows that you're worried, you're concerned about this. Other people being involved in this person's life. You know, this person may have been known to, like, date around or... I, I kind of pick up this energy where this is someone who gets a lot of attention, you know? And they don't want you to think that about them. Tell me about the Nine of Swords reverse. The Ace of Pentacles here, right? I do see this person wants to start fresh. I see the Seven of Cups here. Seven of Swords, the Emperor. Okay, I see this person moving in. Okay, I know this is a general reading, so it's not gonna like resonate all the way with everybody. So just keep listening to your intuition. This person, um, it kind of feels like they're already preparing themselves for how to deal with you. <laughs> I don't know why that why it's like that okay so i kind of feel like this person knows like they look a certain way to you like they know that they look sneaky all right or like they get a lot of attention from a lot of people all right they're they have like a reputation about them in your eyes that they don't want you they don't want you to look at them like this okay spirit <laughs> what do you need the collective to see about this person okay for some of you, like, this person has changed, okay? That's not for everybody. I kind of feel like you're, you're, it's hard to see that, okay? See, what is this person, what do you need a collective to see about this person? Like, I feel like they already have a game plan. Like, I need to come with the collective like this because of what happened in the past or, you know, I need to say just the right thing. Spirit, what does the collective, what do you need the collective to see about this person? Let's see what comes out. What do you need the collective to see about this person? This is kind of stressful. What do you need the collective to see about this person? Okay, Four of Pentacles, and then we have the Six of Cups again. Alright. Four of Pentacles. They, okay... It's like they already know. I keep picking up this energy in these collective readings. This person views you as the one, okay? Like they view you as, like the connection that you two share, there is no other. None other, no one else compares. That's, the, that's their energy towards you. But I feel like in the past they didn't let you know this or they had a difficult time letting you know how they really felt, okay? And then on top of that, I see this person being very sneaky or shady, dealing with more than one person. So it's kind of hard to change your mind or change your <clears throat> view of them. That's what they think. Like, it's difficult for you to look at them in a new light because of what happened in the past. All right. It's like this person is still holding on to you. They're still holding space for you. Okay. Spirit, what else do you need to collect to see about this person? And then we're going to do some advice. Yeah, so we have the page of rods here. They want to try again. Okay, this person may, <clears throat> they may come towards you in a, like, flirty way. I kind of see, um, you know, the 
and being very sweet. Um, just like complimenting you, that type of thing. Tell me more. Page of Rods. The Page of Rods. Yeah, the sun is here. And then we have the Five of Swords. See, I see this person being, they're calculating their steps because of the past. Because of whatever you two had together or whatever happened. They're making sure that they come towards you in a very strategic manner, okay? The Eight of Swords is here. Because they really are trying to fix things. They're trying to mend the relationship. They want things to be healed between you two, okay? Are they dealing with any other people? Let's just see what comes out. Is this person coming towards a collective, are they dealing with other people? Are they in another relationship? Are they dating? Let's see. What is the relationship status? <laughs> what is this person? Okay. We got a Ten of Pentacles here. That's a commitment. The Emperor. Mm -hmm. The seven of wands? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Listen to your intuition. This is a general reading, but for some of you, this person is already in a relationship. They're already dealing with some type of family. They don't want you to see that, or they're trying to block you from that. Tell me more about this uh, Ten of Pentacles spirit. This person, yeah, okay, so the Ace of Cups. You could be dealing with an Aries. I have a lot of signs, like all the signs are on the table. Um, so it's just your person. You're gonna, you're gonna know who this is. King of Swords here. This person may be in the midst of walking away from a relationship, okay? They may not... They may still be married or going through a separation. All right, I still see a relationship here that they're trying to get out of. Tell me more about this relationship. So if it feels messy to you, if it feels like this person is hiding or they're being very secretive, sneaky, like keep your space or keep space between you two, okay? If you're giving, if you're like limiting your communication or contact with that person, I think that would be a good idea because you know, yeah, this person may feel like you're not going to accept them back because of whatever happened between you two in the past. But I also am picking up on this energy where there's something here that this person doesn't want you to see. Like they're moving in, they're moving in a way so that you can say, yes, I don't like that. To be honest, I don't like that. Okay. Um, yeah, I see the world here. Like, their intentions are to leave this relationship, their current relationship, and start something new with you. But they're not telling you. That's the part that I don't like, okay? That's what I, that's what's kind of weird about the way this person is moving. Like, they know you're the one um, that may have started this relationship, but they, they realize it's not what they want. They want you, okay? They want to be with you. Um, but they still have something going on in the background, okay? So, just be aware when these people from the past start popping up and, you know, showing you all this attention, just listen to your intuition, okay? Because there's definitely some, like, hidden motives here, all right? Um, let's see. Spirit, what is the advice for the collective at this time? Yeah, you guys are enlightened, okay? What is the advice? Remain positive, okay? Don't let this person come in and, like, ruin your vibe, <laughs> okay? Yeah, mystery is here. What you need to know will be revealed to you, okay? Keep trusting your gut, your intuition. There's something better. So for some of you, like, you may not even want to entertain this. There is something better that's more in alignment with what you want. So, yeah, and I see success here at the bottom of the deck. 
I feel like at the end of the day, you know, um, make decisions that are suitable for yourself, okay, and not for another person. Dive deep is here. Yeah, because this person may be coming towards you on a, like, a surface level, flirting, you know, complimenting you, that type of thing. But what are you here for? Like, what's the reason? Why are you talking to me? <laughs> like, get to the bottom if you're interested in this person. Let's do one more. So, can I have one more? Yeah, not the right time is here. So, for some of you, this may be someone that you're interested in, but they're going through some things with their current situation so it may not even be worth the stress okay so i'm gonna leave this reading here i hope it was helpful thank you guys for your love and support and i'll talk to you later okay